کس قدر مجھ پر ہوئی تیری ان آیا تو کرم اس قدر مجھ پر ہوئی تیری ان آیا تو کرم جن کا مشکل ہے کتا روز قیامت ہو شمار جن کا مشکل ہے کتا روز قیامت ہو شمار O God, O maker of things, who protects me from being exposed, thou art the provident, O my beloved, my benefactor, my sustainer. It is surely out of grace that thou hast chosen me, otherwise there was no dearth of servants in your court. Those who used to profess friendship turned into enemies, but thou hast never abandoned me, O friend in need. They say that none is accepted without merit. Lo, being without merit, I have granted a station in thy court. You have overwhelmed me with such favor and kindness as cannot be recounted till the end of time. The first speech in English of the first session would be by Dr. Mahmoud Rashid Sahib. Uh, his uh, topic of the speech is blessed faith, philopet, and divine force. اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وعد الله الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات لَيَسْتَخْلِفَنَّهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ كَمَا اسْتَخْلَفَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Allah has promised to those among you who believe and do good works that he will surely make them successors in the earth as he made successors from among those who were gone before them verse 56 chapter 24 Respected Mulana Muniruddin Shamas Sahib, National Sadr Sahib, Murabi Sahib, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu. As you have heard, the topic that I'm going to speak on today is the blessed fifth Khilafat and divine favors. To understand how blessed we are to have Khilafat, let's go back to the time just after Hazrat Ali Karmullah Wajho. At that time of turmoil, when Muslims gave up the commandment of Allah, that hold on to the rope of Allah together and don't quarrel. At that time, they broke that rope of Khilafat and a dark night descended on the Muslim Ummah. That dark night lasted nearly 1400 years. And according to the prophecy of uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that dark night dawned with the becoming of the promised Messiah Alayhi Wasallam. When the promised Messiah Alayhi Wasallam came and he claimed that I am the Mahdi, I am the, the Masih that's going to come and I am the prophet of the age. 
And he reformed people. He turned them into muttaqeen and mu'mineen. And that condition that I've just read in the verse, that who believe and do good works. So those people believed and did good works, then when that condition was met, only then Allah restored the khalafat, ala min haj and nabuwad, and the precepts of prophethood. Today, we are on the fifth chain of that khilafat, on the precept, precepts of prophethood. When Allah Ta'ala puts a khalifa on this earth, He lets people know, some people know, that I am making a khalifa, and this is who it's going to be, and go, and this is how you're going to recognize him, and you should go and do bath to him. So that to say that this khilafat or any khilafat is divine, not just made by man. We have, many of us would have heard and read dreams of people that saw those dreams before Hazur Khalifa al Masih al-Khamah Sayyidullah Ta'ala bin Nasr al-Aziz was elected Khalifa. I will read just one. And this is related by Rabbi Sahib Ibrahim Noonan Sahib, who was not a missionary at the time, and this is in 1997. He writes, I saw that I was outside Fazal Masjid, and I saw thousands of people sitting on the ground. I saw that I was opening the green doors of Fazal Masjid. When I opened the doors, I saw a row of men who were very distinguished. They were on the left and right side of what looked like a, looked like a very saintly person who had very, very big ears. Again, this is a metaphor, and it, it, the dreams are subject to interpretation. I saw an old man who looked very pious. He put a white turban on the man in the middle, and then the same man also put a ring on his finger. As soon as, I, as, soon as that was done, I was asked by Major Mahmoud Ahmed Sahib, in charge of security, to escort Huzur out. So this is the dream. He goes on to say, this dream was fulfilled in the exact detail as I was on hifazat e khas duty during the election of Hazrat Khalifa al Masih al Khamis Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Nasr al-Aziz. And I, alhamdulillah, opened the green doors of Fazal Masjid. And when I opened the doors, the very thing I saw in a dream in 1997 was exactly in front of me. And alhamdulillah, this saintly person was Hazrat Mirza Masood Ahmad Khalifa al Masih the fifth, Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Nasr al-Aziz. And the person who put the, top, the turban on Hazu's head was Mirza Abdul Haq Sahib. Major Mahmood Sahib told me to lead Hazura Yadullah Ta'ala bin Asril Aziz's security out. Hazrat Muslim Islam says in the will. I came from God as a manifestation of divine providence and I am a personification of his power. After I am gone, then there will be some other persons who will be the manifestation of the second power of God. Manifesta manifestation of second power of God. We should be very carefully thinking about those words. That Khilafat is the manifestation of the second power of God. It is not just a khalifa made by man. Some ignorant people may say that these dreams that you describe, they're seen by Ahmadis. We don't know if they're telling the truth or not. They might be biased in telling this. About those people, as Muslim Muslim says, Hai kasoor apna hi andhon ka vagarna wo noor Aisa chamka hai ke sad nayyere bezaar nikla That is the fault it's own fault of the blind people, spiritually blind people, that they cannot see that light. But that spiritual light is, that light is shining so bright that it is surpassing all other illuminations. A few months ago, I was watching 
a Ghair Ahmadi channel. On that channel, there was a Peer Sahib. And he had, the caption was, the pr title of the program was, Peer Sahib's visit to European Parliament. I was quite interested to see this program, because Hazur had visited European Parliament last year. So I kept on watching, and what I saw was that there was the Peer Sahib sitting there in this small room, and surrounded by his own followers, and one European MEP. That was his visit to European Parliament. This P has a lot of followers in the UK, and they could have pushed for a lot bigger contingency to be there. But he could only, with all his manpower, he could only manage one. We all saw Azu's visit to European Parliament. The chairman, uh, the president of the European Parliament came and sat with Hazur. The European Parliament was in the bigger chamber and was full with European MPs. As the Muslim Odal Aislatu Aslam says, Nazalat malai katul al-samai l-nasrina, ro'it l-dai min askar ruhani Angels of heaven have descended to ensure our victory. The enemies stand in terror of the spiritual armies. Those uh, uh, the armies of angels they came and descended on Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih. And it wasn't Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih on his own that he was standing there. It was the armies of angels of Allah that came along with him. And it, they ensured that that room was full. And it was them who ensured that the meeting was a success. Whether, uh, whether it's Hazur's visit to USA or Canada, whether he's going to Ghana, whether he's going to Spain, whether he's going to Germany, wherever our Khalifa goes, 